In today's video, we're gonna be exploring the various options you have for using and designing with text in Canva. So I've got my little Canva uh, canvas open and I'm gonna insert some text and we're gonna get straight into it so you can see exactly like how to use this uh, text options that they have uh, more easily. So I'll click on text over here on the left and you can see I have some options here that if I want to get started, little combinations and designs, if I want to actually use those, I can edit them and get the information I want. So that's pretty handy and we're gonna to actually touch on that a bit later because what I'm gonna do, I've gone over some of this in a previous video, so we're gonna to touch on it very quickly. I can add a heading and I can say something like, we are here, I can add a subheading. So yes, we are here and so on, adding more text. The main thing that you wanna look at, for most people and in most instances when you're designing, Plain text is probably gonna be what you use, but you can still add effects in that, which we're gonna go through. Choosing a good font is what's gonna be one of the best things about what you're doing and understanding your spacing to get the sort of effect you want to. For example, if I click on this text here, it's very easy to read. If I add more lines such as, also going to keep going to get to where we want to go or something like that, This text, if I resize it, looks great like that. However, if I choose by going up here and choosing a font such as this, it can be a bit more difficult to read at smaller sizes depending on what font you choose. However, something that's larger, if you had say just the yes we are here in this font could be great. So font choice is gonna make a big difference. And I'm just hitting Control Z there to undo. But I want to, also just show you that before we get into the fonts, I'm going to actually show you, you can click on these circular handles to enlarge and resize, or you can click the flat handles either side to change the box width and keep the text the same size. And of course, changing the font and formatting, if I have this selected, I can go to these areas here, change the font size manually, change the font color, something like this blue color, I can also make certain things. I can also just select certain areas and play with it. Some of these do are global, such as when I change the size, it changes the whole text box. But if I bold, it only bolds the selection. So I can go through and bold certain areas, italicize them. And your usual text editing options, such as centering or left aligned, justify, right align, center, dot points are all there. One of the biggest things I find is handy is actually spacing. I can go into the spacing here. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. If I go to the spacing section here, I can change the space between each individual letter. I can make it wider, or I can make it really tight and narrow like this if I want that effect. I can keep it where it was, but I can also change the space between each line by cranking that up or keeping it tight. So you do have those options for getting the spacing the way you want, which is pretty handy. But in choosing fonts, Clicking on a font here and clicking on the drop down is where you will get your font choices. Now, it looks like there's not that many when you start because of the size of the scroll bar. But if you keep going, the list keeps on growing. And you'll notice once you start here, you've got some pretty crazy ones. And of course, some of them will look great in upper and lowercase. So if I, we are here. You've got some pretty nifty fonts. And if you have a font you'd like, you can either search for it down here or even type it in. So I'm not a huge fan, but if I type in permanent marker, I get permanent marker here, which is a Google font, and I can use that on here as well. We're going to just stick with something pretty basic for the sake of this video. So I'm gonna X this, and we'll go with headings. So there's all these little uh, sort of categories you can try out. Go with chunk five. So choosing a font is quite simple and you've got a ton of options there. And if you're familiar with, familiar with Google Fonts, I believe most of them are in there. So the next thing is we wanna add some effects. And some of these layouts here are simply just the effects that we can add. So if I go over here, I click on this text, I've actually got some other options here. I can position it on the page, so I can position it to the top or middle of the page vertically or center it horizontally and things like that. Or I can move it, so if I've got this sitting behind this blue text, I can go to position 
and I can move it forward so it sits over the top of that text. So that's something to be aware of if you've got objects sitting above or below each other. And then of course, other things such as underline, you can change the case and uh, transparency. I can make it semi-transparent. So it actually shows through. And those options, if you, I'm actually zoomed in, they will pop up on the right over here. You can copy effects, duplicate this, lock it, all those bits and pieces. So I'm actually gonna go here, go to transparency and put that back up to full and get rid of the underline. So now when I go to effects, these are the effects we have. We can add a drop shadow and we can play with the offset to how far away that shadow is. We can change the color to pink if we want to. We can also add a blur. So we get a blurry shadow and we can bump the transparency up to full so the pink is stronger and we can do things like that. But we can also add things like this echo, which is a number of shadows. And then we can go and adjust those as well to get the effect that we want. And there are other things such as glitch. So we choose two colors and adjust those to get a bit of a glitch effect. And you basically can go through it. neon, which has another cool effect, this splice here. So you get like an outline. So you've got a few options when it comes to effects, which is pretty nifty. But another thing you can also do, if we click off here, go to effects again, is I can go, I'm gonna undo, 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 and clear these effects. I can actually curve the text. So I click on curve and I can adjust the curve of the text to get a curved text effect as well. So you've got a fair few options there under effects to get things looking the way you want. So pretty handy. And there's not a bunch of them there, but enough to get the job done. And um, you can actually just turn the shape from curved to none. I can click on this and click none to remove that and get things looking the way you want. So you've got a few sort of great options there to get it looking the way you want. But if you're looking for something else or you just don't want to have to play with this yourself, we can delete that. We can go in and check out all of these font combinations. And you don't have to just simply scroll. I can type in something like say comic. And for one, it'll have some fonts. And you can choose a font that way. We can check out font combinations, scroll through. So we've got free delivery. We can add that in there. Right click, just say expensive delivery and you can actually alter any of these as you see fit. And I've just zoomed in and out a little bit. And we've got a few colors there. So if I click in and highlight the blue, I can change that to red and highlight this and change it to black. Change the last two letters to purple for no reason at all. And you can obviously change the color of individual letters. And then you can go into effects and see that a shadow has been applied. So we can still actually adjust these effects, change that color and get sort of more control over the effects we're importing. So you can see how quickly and easily that works there. And of course, if you want to actually rotate the text, you can do that as well and get a nice rotation that way. So that is, those are sort of the ins and outs of playing with text in Canva. And uh, although it covers, I've covered a lot of this in the past in another video, it just helps take it that step further to see what your options are. But uh, Canva is pretty powerful for creating basic imagery and designs you can use on social media, YouTube thumbnails or posters. So understanding what your options are with text gives you a lot of flexibility, especially with the sheer number of fonts you have at your disposal. You can create almost any look very easily. So I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please consider giving it a like. And uh, if you want to see more videos on Canva, please consider subscribing. And of course, leave a comment if you have any questions. Otherwise, thanks for watching the video. I hope to see you again soon.